Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Now, um, I reviewed this game a little earlier on today, or maybe slightly yesterday now when this goes live, and it's Outrun on the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive. Now, after I put that video up, it's the first video I've covered on this system. People told me the music was a little bit laboured and the game wasn't quite playing right. Admittedly, it was on emulation. Now, emulation is good when it runs identical to the system or very, very close. When it doesn't run anywhere near, then it, as a tool, the whole thing becomes pointless. So I thought I'd have another go at this, use a different ROM, do a few tweaks, because ideally, if I can get it working like the original hardware, because uh, that's the whole point of the whole thing, I'll put up a lot more videos. If I can't, then I won't. So tell me what you think of this one. Uh, already the sound sounds a little bit better and it's running slightly smoother, but tell me what you think. Outrun uh, with lou louder music now, and it seems to be more in time. So let's see how it plays again. 1991 this one, uh, Outrun, from uh, Sega, where you drive a Ferrari Testarossa through different uh, stages. Uh, do check out my first review of this a bit earlier on today to see the difference of the running of the two. Because as I say, if, it, if I can't get the reviews running anything like the original games, then the nostalgia is lost and it's a pointless exercise. So, you know, I do read the comments in the comment section, uh, no matter how painful, and I just try and adapt and correct things as quickly as possible. There was another game I reviewed on the ZX Spectrum a while back called Load Runner, uh, where I'd... Um, got a bad copy of the game and I think that's what happened on this outrun here and I was unaware of it because I haven't played it on that particular system so I put up another correcting video so you know I do respond I'm a humble guy so let's see how far we can get as quickly as possible I'm on easy mode again so we've had two videos of outrun we can never have enough outrun can we so always going to be teething problems I think when we try out a new system but it's a question of putting Check them right me and seeing what you think. It's all about forum and community. Right, we've gone through one stage straight away. I seem to be a bit quick, quicker this time, or a bit better. Uh, I don't want to put the dampers on it. Let's go. Right, if the car crashes, we spin round. This won't be as big as review as the first time, because we've done it all before. It's just getting it to run smoothly. You've already told me a few games you'd like to see, and I've jotted them down. If you've got any favourites, let me know. I'm quite keen to see Super Hang On on this but only if it's running like the original hardware. Yeah, the, I tell you what, already the music is a lot, lot better than that first video I put up. So apologies for that, but thank you for taking the time to comment so I knew. Yes, yeah, so a Sega Genesis uh, known in the US and all the way across Europe as the Sega Mega Drive. I don't know why it had different names in different places, but there you go. They must have thought it'd sell maybe a bit better with different versions. Two gears on this, low and high. Now this is the uh, game as it was on the system, so I won't be playing any uh, games with um, any clever patches on or anything like that. Yes. Um, did, did, did. People had told me on that last video that the best version of Outrun is on the Nintendo 3DS, I think, unless I'm remembering that wrong. Is that the case? Let me know. I did see a version of this available as a ROM called Outrun 2019. What's all that about? Is that worth having a look at as well? Or is that, a, is that just a modified version of this? Let me know about that. Yeah, this, this seems to be playing a lot better, but of course, if you own this game back in the day, let me know. Da, 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 da. Right, okay. Right, so I... Pre I was going to just do a quick five minute video here just to see how it worked, but I'll, I will play it a little bit because this, this game's absolutely awesome. I'm loving this. Uh, prior to this, my own experience of the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis was on the PlayStation 3 where I had a disc called the Sega Mega Drive, um, I think it's called Mega Pack or something like that, and all the Sonic the Hedgehog games are there and Golden Axe games are there. But they were, I think there was HD versions or altered versions ever so slightly, so they won't play like the original hardware, so I'll probably have a look at them again. Streets of Rage people have mentioned to have a look at, which I will do. Uh, I'm not sure about Speedball 2 is one of my favourite games on uh, a lot of systems, I don't know how that plays on here. Also in the comments section I was told, uh, in this game when it comes to the branch roads, you can choose your route. If you choose the left route, it's easy, and the right route is more difficult. So <laughs> I keep going for the left, as you might have noticed, to try and get to the end. But uh, this version I'm now doing is running a little bit quicker. I think before I had it on Euro settings, or it was a Duff ROM, and some of the quality was lost. Oh dear, we flipped around like hoodlums. Okay. 
Right, low gear, then get into high gear. Time's ticking down in the top left, you can see. Lots of different versions of OutRun on different systems. Weren't overly impressed on the 8-bit ones. As I said, Expectra never quite seemed to manage it. Commodore Amiga should have been a lot better than it was, because it could do games like this, because uh, the Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge series was a case point. But uh, it, it was terrible. I think it's a lazy conversion or port from the Atari ST version, which never works that well. Uh, these versions um, by Sega themselves are, are pretty special. I do like them. But uh, you, few people say the 3DS version is better, so that must be very interesting to see that. I don't think Turbo Outrun come out on the Sega Genesis Mega Drive. Let me know if it did. Let me know if it did. So apologies for that first video, hopefully this one's improved and set the record straight because I do like to set the record straight quite quickly if I can. Oh game over, oh dear me. So I took the easiest route there, got right near the end. We'll have one last go, we'll do a different path, pick a bit of different music, see if that works. So see, look at that. So this has got, this has got um, title music as well. The other version you couldn't really hear that too much. Sega. And also the um, the title was animated. I don't think the last version I played had an animated title for some reason. Okay, right. Let's change the uh, radio. Get ready. Get ready. I think this music was composed especially for this game. So first stage is quite an easy one, he says, as he almost crashes into a palm tree. Round the corners we go. Nice and wide this first stage. We'll take a different branch route this time. We won't go left, we'll try right when I eventually get there. Here we go, folks. So this is what it's like to drive round in a Ferrari Testarossa Spider. Um, the uh, chap that wrote this, or come up with the original ideas, I think he hired out a BMW and drove across Europe to get ideas for the scenery. Um, his thinking was the scenery in Europe was more varied than it is in the USA. I think the USA has got varied scenery as well, but you have to drive a lot further to see all the different bits. Europe, Europe is all a bit tighter together. Whoops, come on, keep on the road, Nick. I want to get off stage one at least. 28 seconds left. We're going to take a branch route to the right, and obviously it's going to say checkpoint when we go past, I hope. Yes, I'm loving the music on this. A good variation, different choices. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Now that's a lot louder than the version I played earlier on today, that's for sure. And we go. This is probably going to go live in the early hours of the morning, I'd imagine. But if you're still awake, it is Friday after all. Well, Saturday now, if you're listening to this. Uh, unless you listen to it a bit later on. Here we go. I bet you didn't expect a correcting video to go up this quickly, did you? Or maybe, maybe this is the first video you've seen and you haven't seen the first video. In that case, don't watch that first video. You can watch it if you want, but the quality won't be as good. The perspective seems to have changed slightly here. We lifted a little bit. Oops, almost into that tree. Right, we're taking taking the more difficult route this time. So we've got 40 seconds left. Obviously, if you crash or go off the road, it costs you lots and lots of time. Did you complete this game on the super super pro difficult mode? Let me know, because there are different um, levels of difficulty. I'm on easy, I will admit that to you, to try and show you as much of the game I possibly can. We have the amount of games I review on the channel, we just have not got the time for me to get good at all of them. So we have to try and help ourselves as much as we possibly can. These reviews are meant to see how the game plays, what's the sound like, and most importantly of all, we live in a bit of nostalgia. So if this is a um, pricking up memories for you, then by all means comment below, don't be too shy. Check it's all point. supposed to be nice and friendly here. You might love this game, you might hate this game. Either way, uh, it's good to hear from you, because we're all retro gamers on different systems, sharing the ideas and sharing the love. Sorry to get all hippie on you there, but that's just the kind of guy I am, but we're sure to hear. Right, so, this is nice, those rocks to the right there, that's nice to see in this difficult route. I think my luck's going to run out at some point though, and I'm going to go off the road and tumbling again. Nice sound as you go past the cars, like a passage of air. Like green Volkswagens then, let's get past this mob. Okay, right. Here we go, here we go. 
Is this playing like the original hardware? It's tough for me to know because I didn't own this system. I owned the ZX Spectrum, the Commodore Amiga and the Game Boy Advance. People have pushed me to start reviewing other systems to get a bit of variety in the channel, which I've gradually done. Commodore 64 and 8-bit around the same time as the Spectrum, which I'm getting a bit of a knowledge there. Atari 2600, which was before the Spectrum, started in 1977. And uh, we very recently throw in uh, this into the mix, the Soviet Sega Genesis and the um, Mega Drive. You know, I want to, like, it's all different religions, isn't it, really, these different game systems. I want to unite all of them. The impossible, the impossible task. So hopefully I'll get better, and um, from your knowledge in the comment section, I'm sure I'll learn more and more about the games and how they relate to each other. So it's like a, it's like an open university degree, where instead of all the teachers and stuff, it's all you lot <laughs> that put the comments in. So thank you everyone that commented on that first video. I learned heaps there, especially about this emulation. And if you're interested, this is being emulated on something called Kiga Fusion. Best. But make sure you've got the right ROM in it, because you can get disastrous results if you choose the wrong thing. Right, I think we're off and running now. I think we're off to a good start after that initial problem. I think. So I'll be looking forward to reviewing more and more. If you've got um, a favourite Sega Mega Drive game, Sega Genesis game, let me know, and I will add that to the list. I'm sure that's going to gradually grow. Because uh, for some people watching, this might be your main system. We're going to run out of time in a minute. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Uh, it's not looking good here if we go through these fields. So let, let me know what's your faves. And I always try and include them. Yes, time's run out there. Okay, well, hope you like that second look uh, outrun. It was a correcting video, a revisited video, published by Sega in 1991, um, based on the arcade cabinet from 1986. Thanks for watching that one as always. Um, if you subscribe, then a big thank you to you. If you haven't subscribed already, then you want to join into the comments and all that sort of stuff, please consider doing so, because that's a big help. If you want to help the channel a bit more, it's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help. And again, thank you very much to everyone that commented on that first video and let me know everything that was going wrong. So take care, care, care. Well, I better start that again. Take good care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.